Barshini, an 18-year-old village girl from Karnataka in South India, used local lentils and beans to create a beautiful and traditional clover-shaped rangoli design. Her design remarkably resembles the equally beautiful ancient floor mosaic designs found in Greece and Roman Italy. It raises the question whether rangolis of India and mosaics in traditional Greece have a common history. Two Greek traditional village girls, Bella and Athena, from the island of Kos in southern Greece will take the viewer on a walking tour of the ruins of a 2,000-year-old Roman bathing facility. It is located just outside the city of Kos opposite of the arena. During this tour, we will see a number of beautiful mosaics which strongly resemble the patterns of column rangoli, which are presented in our YouTube channel Traditional Village Girls. The two girls first show us a bath area with beautiful mosaics of handsome Greek men on horseback and on foot. This was a men's bathing area with adjacent kitchen and living hall. Next we saw a mosaic which resembles in design to the column rangoli. The girls will then walk with us along an old stone paved Roman road which is about one kilometer in length. Pillars can be seen on both sides of the road. Behind the pillars are the ruins of buildings. In today's video, the young village women, Roshini and Parvati design a very beautiful mosaic rangoli using raisins, cashew nuts, and seven different lentils which are common in local food. Roshini starts by drawing her rough design on the floor with a piece of chalk. She has kept all her ingredient in brass, copper and clay containers. In the center of her clover-shaped design, Roshini first places light-colored cashew nuts. Her home state Karnataka is famous for cashew nut plantations, and it is also popular in South Indian food. After a while, we see a very large building in the background that was once upon a time the enclosed bathing area for women. The tunnels that we now see in the ruins are carried water to the, the bathing areas in this bathing complex. Inside the tunnels, the water was heated in large ovens. Here we see the tunnels again, going under a platform with a beautiful mosaic design. This building had the most magnificent mosaic design. Inside the ring of cashew nuts, Roshini distributes cream-colored urad lentils, and then she places golden-colored raisins on top of these lentils. In the Devana Halli, Chintamani region just north of Bangalore there are ample flat land grape plantations. It was the bath and spa facility for the wealthiest residents of the ancient city. In ancient days, the bath was probably steaming from the heated water below and all nicely scented with aromas from Mediterranean herbs like rosemary and eucalyptus.
Bella and Athena continue showing us around, we pass many other such bathrooms for the less wealthy men of the ancient town. These bathrooms had no mosaics on the floor. Finally, we enter a pinewood forest. We will continue our tour after a while, as we need to now focus on Bershini's progress with her Rangoli mosaic. Around the center, she now applies yellow mung beans. The Greek village girls will then show us the beautiful Nymphium, which is the ancient women's bathing area. Bella and Athena now backtrack on a tour to go back to the large building that represents the Nymphium or ladies bathing area. The aforementioned paved Roman road leads directly to the entrance of the Nymphium to make it easy for ancient Greek ladies to access the bathing area by horse-drawn wagons. The Nymphium is even more spacious than the bathing facility of the wealthy male residents of the city. The indoor area of the Nymphium resembles many houses in South India, with an indoor courtyard around which there are many residential rooms. The courtyard of the Nymphium is laid out with mosaic stones. And there are no large windows to look out from. It hid the sight of the undressed ladies from any unwanted viewers. The walls of the Nymphium were so high that it is possible that there was a second floor in this building, where the ladies could rest during the daytime. To give the viewer an idea of what this building may have looked like when it was still in use, we created an imaginary Roman Nymphium with Microsoft Designer, which gives an incredibly realistic idea of the beauty of the building in its best days. The building in Coast was perhaps a bit smaller than the one on our picture. Here we see the high rising side walls of the Nymphium or Roman ladies bathing areas. And leading up to it, the elegant paved Roman road where the ladies were driven on in horse carriage without experiencing a very bumpy ride. Adjacent to the yellow mung beans, Varshini now distributes brown colored split chickpeas, also known as chana dal. This type of lentil is not only popular in the Middle Eastern region, but also all over India. The Greek girls now take us through a pinewood forest. They are very familiar with this area, which is not mentioned in any tourist guide of Kos. There is no entry freeze or other official guides to direct tourists. We, traditional village girls, are a group of village girls spread all across the South Indian states of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. For our fans and audience, we are dedicated to preserving memories of traditional village life as has been practiced by many generations of our ancestors. In our YouTube channel, 
We present to you video documentaries about our daily chores, school activities and religious obligations. We also show you traditional song and games, as well as traditional cooking using traditional utensils. We take you for drives through our beautiful countryside, present to you the field work of our parents, and introduce you to our festivals taking place on weekends. Most important, though, is our daily morning ritual of drawing Rangoli patterns to appease our gods and beg them for their blessings to give us a successful day. Rangoli is a ritual that has traditionally been practiced by village girls and village women at the start of the day. Most of us girls are very good at creating these delicate and colorful patterns. We, village girls, plan to use the funds that we earn from YouTube to fund our further education in engineering, law and medicine. Please support our efforts by subscribing to our channel, watching our movies, commenting on them, sharing them with your friends and clicking on the like icon. We would very much appreciate this support. Just opposite of this site is the Roman Odeon or theater, which can be seen later in this video. We walk alongside and through the ruins of the once magnificent ancient Roman road. Beautiful pillars with exquisite carvings can be seen toppled over all over the place. It seems that an earthquake, which are frequent in coasts, must have caused this horrible damage. Their forest area also seems to have been a building or structure that housed many steam baths, as rooms can be seen along the way. long walk through ruins of the Roman bath basily, the girls show us another building with beautiful mosaics. It is located at the end of the one kilometer paved Roman road. The road most likely continues on to the castle of Kos and other Roman ruins.
building, a lot of wall paintings can be seen, mainly in red and burgundy. This may have been some type of indoor rest area. It seems it also contains a toilet facility with holes in the ground, which are connected to a sewage canal. Most likely the building was for upper-class Roman men. We would like to remind to also look at Borshini's work from time to time, rather than being distracted too much by the Roman excavation site. This is another magnificent bath of upper-class Roman citizens, with mosaics showing men faking a wild boar. Varshini now applies green mung beans to her design. Bordering her green mung bean field, she places once again her cashew nuts. And her aunt, Parvati, who happened to come by after coming home from work, joined Varshini to help her complete her large rangali design. Now we arrive at the Roman road, which suddenly ends at this point in time. It most likely continues on towards the town of Kos and the other Roman architectures of the town. Poverty now continues to apply green mung beans to the design. The Greek village girls now also accompany us to other sites on the island of Kos to give us a glimpse of this beautiful island in the Mediterranean Sea. They take us to the famous ruins of the ancient hospital Asclepios. Poverty then applies Indian brown lentils, also known as Sabat Masua, to the design. Both women work perfectly well as a team. Good teamwork is important in our villages.
island of Kos is more or less a desert island with a gorgeous blue clear water ocean. There are several castles at the top of some of the hills of the island from which the viewer has beautiful views of the island and neighboring islands. The island also has a peacock's forest, where peacocks live in freedom, together with a lot of cats. sunsets of coast and the blue waters can hardly be captured by a camera. One of the nicest resorts of the island which is also depicted in this video is the Blue Lagoon Resort, which is located in a very secluded area of the island with no other resorts nearby. They even operate an organic farm on the property. Bordering the Indian brown lentils, Parvati now applies dried green peas as a borderline. Meanwhile, Varshini had already completed her design on the other side. Here we see the Odeon Theater and again the Asclepios Clinic and various views of the Blue Lagoon Resort and Beach Area. Continuing on Parvati's design by apply Urad lentils around the dried peas.
the urad lentils. Roshini then applies a different type of Sabat Nasua lentil dal, also known as red lentils. the red lentils, she creates five little islands of dried green peas. Shimi and Parbathi are about to finish their intricate, exquisite, and one-of-a-kind ancient Greek-Roman mosaic rangoli using only natural ingredients from the South Indian cuisine. This jovial melody is not Greek music, though it sounds similar. It is West Indian Calypso steel band music from the island of Barbados. To give the design some stronger color contrast, the two women apply modern Rangoli powder in the vibrant colors green, blue and yellow into the Urad lentil fields. The exquisite design created by 18-year-old college student, Roshini is now completed.